Here's the kick, and it's underway. And it's a good kick. It's going to drive him. Uh, matter of fact, that hit all the way through the end zone. And they'll bring it out to the 20-yard uh, line. And three wides to the right side and one to the left. And a first and 10 from the 20. And Batch just got it. He crosses the 20. Got a man on his back. Goes to the 24-yard line. Side of the 25. Check the secondary for the Ags in a moment. Second down at about five. Screen right side across the 25-30. And bumped out of bounds at the Texas Tech 34-and-a-half-yard line. Back to the left. Two wides on the left side, that's the open side, and two here on the right at their own 35. Wants to throw, he will. It's caught, that's Batch out of the backfield. Missed the tackle, the 40. And then leaps forward across the 40 to the 43-yard line. Second down at about a yard and a half at their own 43-and-a-half yard line. Time to throw, he will over the middle. That he is off the fingertips of the intended receiver. That'll be Deepron Lewis, the young man from College Station, junior two letters. They're 43% on their third downs. They need their 45. The snap, they kept it on the ground. It goes to Batch. He hits in, and he's met in the hole he right make there it. by Lucas Patterson, and he did not get it. He'll be a half yard shy of the 45-yard line. All right, and needs a yard to the 45. Half back to the right, three wides to the right. Going to throw, screen this side, and they got the first down. Across the 50, 40, 30, 20. He is going to score. He didn't step out of bounds, and he did not. That's a touchdown catch for Alex Torres. And he just went uh, 40, the 55, 56 yards. On their first possession, they converted a fourth down into a touchdown to Texas Tech. And went 56 yards for Torres to catch that ball. And for Torres, that'll be his fourth touchdown of the season. All right, 7 nothing Texas Tech, and the Aggies about to get a first possession. Here's the kick. Wow. He got all of that. Man, a lot. He just counts that one into the end zone, and the Aggies will go back and take it. Uh, and a knee there on top of the A, and the Raiders. A knee in the backfield. You got three wides on the right. You need to check and see if Fuller's out there because he was warming up. Here's a throw, and that is Wachiku. First down, the Aggies. And he fights his way. He fumbled the ball. He did fumble it. He they, fumbled they got it. Got it. Their first possession in March, 80 yards. Got a 56 yard pass to Torres. Flag. And here's a shovel pass, and he's across the 40, 45, 30, inside the 25, and knocked out at the 24-yard line goes Barrett Batch. Batch, 65 carries, 350 yards. He gets to get you what you kind of a nuisance. He's a pest out there because he really kind of distracts you away from what they want you to uh, be distracted from, and that's their passing game. Now, this is going to come back. They were in legal formation uh, or a false start. And uh, this is going to come back, uh, or throw, race that play, give them a five-yard penalty, and they'll be ready for first and fifth. Back right, two wides right, two to the left. A short side to the left, and they give it to Batch on a delay. And he hits the 40-yard line. The Aggies are wrestling with him. And down at the AM 39. Mm -hmm. Time now, 11.45, first period. The Aggies trail 7 to nothing. Half back either side here of Potts. He put one man in motion. He faked to the right. He's got pressure. He steps up. There's a hold against Texas Tech. Pass is thrown. It's completed across the 25. And down at the 21-yard line. But that flag is back outside the 45 at the 47-yard line. It'll be a hold call against uh, Texas Tech. That's an 18-yard gain, but rub it out on the holding. I think that was Von Miller that got held on that play. And they will bring it back. You got 11.20 to go, first period. The Aggies trail seven to nothing. Audible called here by Potts. Drops, they've thrown a screen, and it's dropped across the 45 at the uh, Tech 46-yard line. They started this uh, series at the Aggie 38 after a watcher who fumbled. This is third down and 26, chased out of the pocket. They're going to call for another hold. Here's a drop at the 50-yard line. That was Batch out of the backfield. Couldn't hang on on the pass here from Potts. And Bob Miller was the guy putting a lot of pressure there on Potts. Flag back at the 34, a holding call against Texas Tech. And it will be declined, and the Aggies will make them punt. And the guy that punts for him is Ryan Erksleben. He's uh, kicked 20 for an average of 39.7, a long of 54. Got two that are plus 50 this year. Russell is his dad. Here is the uh, punt, and that's Harris at the 13. And trying to slip away, can't do it. And he will give him, apparently, a mark. And he brought back on his own, apparently, to the 10-yard line. Got one official that's marking that at yeah. the 13-yard line. We, I, I like the guy on the other side. He's marking it at the 14. Coming in now out of a timeout with exchange after the punt. First down and 10 a and They got the ball to the 14. Short drop. Gerard throws out in the flats. Goes to Wachaku. Wachaku fighting again. 
And he'll get eight. Well, Steve for a union being celebrated at Kyle Field. They're listening to the radio broadcast. You guys are getting old. Second down <laughs> and a yard. And the handoff goes to the 25. The Ags got a first down. The a &M's, uh, total offense average in the play, 477 yards. Here's a throw. Comes out in the flats. That'll be caught. And that's McCoy. And McCoy fights, and he got a first down as he struggles across the 40 to about the 41-yard line. That's a 16-yard gain. Oh, here we go. Second, it's a single setback. Nice uh, break here. He's across the 50 as he made a cut back to his left. That'll be Cyrus Gray again, and he gets it across the 40 to the 41-yard line. His second carry, he is two carries now, 22 yards. Shallow pocket throw, ball caught. That is Canahill. Turns his back as he gets some extra yards across the 25, about the 24 and a half yard line. And the Aggies are down to the 24. 933 first period, tech lead 7-0. Deep pocket. Gerard look at how he is gonna run for it. He's across the 25, angling into the sideline, close for a first down, but not quite. Stepped out at the tech 15 yard line. The time to find a receiver, couldn't find one, but he picks up nine with his legs. He has carried it 68 times, 162 yards. We by the middle, got the first down across the 15 yard line. Single setback, a little pyramid formation is on the left side, and now we switch it over to the right side. All in the middle of the field. It's a pitch, and here is Cyrus. He's wanting to throw. It's covered, and he will run for it instead of throwing the ball. Got a slot to the left side, and a flanker right. Outside pressure through a screen. Ball caught. That's Gray, and he has a chance to score. Oh, wow! That's a touchdown call. from 11 and a half yards out. That is Cyrus Gray. And they, this is a perfect call. Texas Tech coming with the blitz. They hit him with the screen out in the flat. The quick one to Gray. He weaved his way through his blockers and uh, went in untouched from 11 out. First down, or touchdown for the Aggies. There's the extra point by Bullock. It is up, and it's good. Took him nine plays to go, 86 yards. McCoy on a 16-yard catch and run. Uh, Cyrus Gray on a 20-yard draw play, and the touchdown comes to Cyrus Gray on a 12-yard screen, 7-7. Seven to seven. All right, and here's the kickoff, and this one has a chance to get into the end zone. It will, and they're going to say take the knee. They'll bring it out to the 20-yard line. I'm going to bring you on up. The umpire it's Bernardo, and the referee... Got a wide out way out there by himself to the left. That's just got it. He's flying the right corner. He's turned it. And it'll be close for a first down. And Russell down at the 39-yard line. Bring up this second and three. And they're at their own 39. Screen over to the left. Ball's been caught first down. They're across the 50. They're in Aggie territory and rolled out of bounds. Gary Williams jumped on his back at the AM 48 yard line. The Aggies have six of those. First down and 10. They're in AM territory. A draw. It's batch. He turns the left corner. Hit head up at the Aggie 45-yard line. The ball at the Aggie 45-yard line. As Potts drops back, lofts one, he throws. That's the catch at the cost of 30. And dropped at the 30-yard line. I believe that may be six. First down and 10 at the Aggie 30. Time to throw. They're going to throw a screen. It comes to the right side. That is Batch again. Caught him from the backside. Jonathan Stewart's going to sniff that one out. A half backs either side of him. Will be Potts, the young man from Abilene. Play action, drops back, sets up the pocket. He's got backside pressure, been hit. And the ball's been intercepted, and that is Derek Williams. And he's dropped down almost as soon as he intercepted the ball at the Aggie 29-yard line. Williams just got the third Aggie interception this season. We got two by a linebacker, we have by two different linebackers, and one by a defensive lineman. Well, what a great job by the, uh, the Aggie defensive secondary. Potts had lots of time to locate a receiver. He couldn't find anybody, and he started getting happy feet as that pocket closed in on him. He looked back to the left and just threw it. Nobody there except Garrick Williams made a nice one-handed interception, and the Aggies have the ball at their own 29. First and 10 the other way. Five and a half to go in the first period. The game tied at seven empty in the backfield. Time to throw. He will, and uh, the receiver, that is Tannehill. Got knocked out at the 25-yard line, and we got one, two, three pieces of laundry out there on the field right now. The officials caught that. Cody Davis may have been the guy that just really tackled Tannehill, and the pass was intended to Tannehill out about the 25-yard line. And yeah, they'll call this pass interference or holding. I don't know which. There's four uh, handkerchiefs out there. Everybody <laughs> threw one, I think. They all wanted to get it on the act. I think our uh, sideline coordinator that calls the timeouts threw one. <laughs> They call pass interference on this, and it'll be a 10-yard penalty and be a first down for the Aggies. Yeah. Have a deep eye back, and we're under center with Gerard Johnson. And he just handed off, and he's across the 35. He's out across the 40 to the 42, and the 41 almost the 42. 
A&M into the field. Michael gets it again, tries the right side, forces his way to the 44, too shy of a first down. Will be our first third down effort of the night. Made a couple, high formation, wants to throw, under some pressure, wants to run. There's a flag down. I think they're going to get caught for a hold. And not enough for a first down. Rod went down at the 45-yard line. That is a yard shy. Well, some good news here. Jeff Fuller is in the lineup, and that's who he wanted to go to this time on the left side. That was covered up. So Gerard pulled it down and tried to pick up the first, but he didn't. Barrera, Schumard, Matthews, Allen, and Grimes make up that offensive line for Texas A&M. Rick Lamette is our official, our referee of the group tonight. That's uh, got to be Schumard on a leg whip. That's a personal foul and a 15-yard penalty. 17, Jags need their own 45 and a half for a first down. Half back right, deep pocket, shotgun, shovel pass. We try in the middle, and that is Gray cutting back to his right and now back to his left. He's across the 35, he's to the 38-yard line, and not enough for a first down. We'll hit the Epperson, we'll kick for the first time tonight here at Jones Stadium. High snap, got it, punts away, good sailor. They're backing up. Now they take a step up to the 18. Here comes the middle of the turn, and the Aggies miss about three tackles. There's a flag. I think they're going to get caught for a hold again as we finally catch up with him at about the 44-yard line. 45-yard punt, so he passed his first test. Going to return. Illegal block in the back. Block in the back against Texas Tech. They'll move it back. Let's see where they spot it. That yeah, was a nice kick by Epperson. Into the game of 235 attempts. Low snap, controls it, screen to the left side. And turning this into a first down across the 20, now across the 25, and down at the 25-yard line. Throwing uh, six here as their first down total. Here's first down and 10, handoff back, looking for the left corner. He's turned it, and he hits one of the Ags head up. Up there on the sideline, and got about three more yards after that collision. The game is a 7-7 tie, halfback right. Potts will take the snap. Standing back at his 28-yard line, Batch got it on a delay. He flies the middle. He's got the first down and a whole bunch more. And Potts will move up under center. Two wides over to the left side. The ball almost in the middle of the field. They just put a man in motion from the left, going back to the right. And they're going to go on an end around. And this is Deepron Lewis, and he is a great tackle. Going to turn the left corner, and that's Fredericks. Uh, Terrence Fredericks will come up, and now a flag down in the secondary. As uh, Frederick uh, Terrence came up and did a nice job that time, did uh, did Frederick on the uh, tackle of Detron Lewis. So it'll be a personal foul against Texas Tech. After the play was over, personal foul with a late hit, number 67 on the offense. Late hit against That's, Texas uh, Tech. That's Marlon Wynn, their right tackle. And he was way down the field. That was like 15 yards away from the plate. Second down and a long way, 21 to go. The ball moved back to the Tech 32-yard line. They've got to get to the Aggie 47. Screen again to the right side. And it's Torres, and he is knocked out of bounds into the Tech bench at the 48-yard line. Their third downs tonight. The ball at the Tech 48-yard line. They need the Aggie 47. Minute 24 to go. Low snap, screen again to the left side. First down, Torres. Will develop that to the Aggie 45. 10 of 14, throwing the ball is Potts, 147 yards and a touchdown plus an interception. Here's the snap on a first down from the Aggie 46. That's a throw, that's a catch across the middle this time, and that's wide open. The ball caught by Zusonic, and that's a first down. That's across the 30 and the Aggie 26 yard. Patterson, Gerard Eddy, and Von Miller make up the front for AM on a first down and 10. There's some middle pressure. He got rid of the ball wide open at the 20 to 15. Cuts back to his right 10. He's going to go in and touch touchdown. Edward Griffin just caught the ball for a touchdown. For well, Texas Tech, and that went about 26 yards. Pat Williams is from Weatherford, Texas, and he is now 39 of 40 on his extra points this year. It is snapped, put down, up, and it is good. to seven, it's Tech, 30 seconds to go here in the first quarter, and the kickoff. And this will be Lionel, and he's back at the three, dropped it, picked it up at the five, to the 10, to the 15, hits in there, broke out of there for a moment, across the 20 to about the 22-yard line. First grade, Randall Jackson's in this format. Watch a coup and Morrow also out there. It's a draw by the middle, and we will get about three or four yards. All right, second down and four coming up. A ball at the Aggie 
28-yard line. They need the net there, 32 or better for a first down. First play, second quarter, 14-7 Tech. Empty in the backfield, steps up, forced out of the pocket, running wide. Got some daylight, he'll get a first down, and we'll go down as he crosses the 40. Yeah, another great decision by Girardi, he hung in the pocket as long as he could. He was able to escape out to his right, picked up some uh, running room. I uh, saw some green in front of him, and uh, he moved it up to the 42-yard uh, line. Number eight tonight for Texas A&M. There's Free a play. flag down, and apparently they jumped, and they're going to go deep. It's Wachiku on the sideline, and did he take that away from that guy? He did. I think he did. Across the 20 and down at the 16-yard line. He just took that right away from uh, one of the defensive backs. I think it was Franklin Mitchum inside the 20 at the 17. A flag now back at the 43 on both sides of the field. That's going to be an offside against Texas Tech, which the Aggies will decline. And this play is going to hold up. That's a 41-yard completion. What a great catch by Wachiku. Boy, he can just, I mean, he's got such great leaping wow. up. In period 14-7, Texas Tech under center. It's a draw, and it goes to Gray. He cuts back at the 15. He's to the 10-yard line. Shy of a first down by about three. And he'll pick up seven down to the 10, second and three. On the 11-yard line, I think when they got that thing spotted, they maybe the 10. Plenty of time, throws, that's a catch, that's McCoy, and McCoy's got a first down, he's inside the five, he's got a couple of guys trying to bulldog him down at the two-yard line. Eagle set back, first and goal at the three, give it to Cyrus, try in the middle, pushing, shoving, and he is... Touchdown! Touchdown! He got it in! Little extra effort right there, he got a, a little push, and he fell across the goal line. So we are an extra point away from tying it up at 13.41 to go here in the second quarter. It's a one-point tech lead before the extra points. Tannehill will hold. Here is Bullock. The extra point is up, and it is on the board. we got a tie game again. And him ready to kick off. Gray now two touchdowns tonight. The first time in his career he'll do that. Kicking into the wind. And uh, good distance. Go right to the goal line by Bullock. They come back out to the 10. Ran by a couple of guys. Little seam. He's cut back to the right side he's across the 35 and we're trying to catch up and we do and the guard may have been the guy that finally caught it he's at the 37 yard line 10 for tech they're at their 37 yard line and it's a delay and they're trying to come back here to the left side they roll across the 35 and all the way out to the 39 yard line has his snap throws back to his right side the ags are right there and i thought for a moment they were going to break a tackle but that will be terrence frederick Frederick came into the game that I'll check his solo tackles here in a moment. Here's a screen out to this side, wide open. That's Batch out of the backfield. And he is out of bounds across the Aggie. Full Porter just checked in from the sideline. We make those three changes on a first down and 10. They'll uh, pass over the middle, batted down by AM. And the man that got the hand on that that time was Michael Hodges. Yard line, 11.59 to go. Clock stop, ball's been fumbled and still on the ground. And if they get it back or do they know. get it? They're fighting for it. Let's see who they give it to. Ah, they're saying it's Texas Tech. Got half back to the right, two wides to the right side. That's the open side of the formation. The top as we look at it. Potts waits on his snap, drops back across the 50, screen right side. That's a naked screen out there. The Aggies trying to catch up to it. And he's fighting for the first down across the 30. And where they got to spot it at the 31 yard line. Fourth down a yard and a half. They need, oh, just past the Aggie 28, close to the 27 yard line. Ball pretty close to the 29. They're coming back to this side. Tripped, and I don't think he got it. I don't either, Dave. He was a sweep coming back to the left side, and the Aggies got a hand on him, and that's going to be Jordan Pugh who reached out and slapped down Harrison Jeffers that time. They did not convert on the fourth down, and the Aggies will take over now at their own 29-yard line. First down and 10. First down and 10, A&M at their 29-yard line. Drop. Throws from the pocket. Ball is underthrown across the 35 and incomplete. Howard on Howard, and Julius Howard was so close that Gerardo had the, his only option was to throw it low, and Howard Morrow couldn't pull it out. Empty in the backfield, outside pressure, step up, throw it. That's Tannehill. He's got a first down. He's across the 40s, all the way out to the Aggie 44 yard line. He's have a first down at the uh, 44 yard line. 10 first downs for AM. It's a draw. They're going to give it to Michael. Michael. Lowers his head and hits somebody for the Tech defense right in the gut. And the two went down at the 50-yard line in the shotgun. Rod has a snap. Matthew, they hand it off. Michael, nice hole. He's across the 40. Uses the stiff arm to get it to the 39-yard line. Say first and 10. It's Texas A&M now at the Tech 39. 10, the Aggies. Tech 39-yard line. Under center. Pitch. Right side. Looks like Michael trying to get some blocking to lead him out of uh, the backfield. It didn't happen. 
He'll be dropped at the 39-yard line. Second down, lost about a half yard in the shotgun. Throws right side, got a man over at the 25, and that will be Brandell Jackson across the 25. First down, Texas A&M. Throw over the middle, then he moved to the left side and hit Brandell Jackson for 16. Yeah, we got right back to the line of scrimmage, and we hand it off to Michael and Kristen. Uh, spun across the 20 to the 18-yard line. A second down coming up the ball at the 18-yard line. Tech into the field. It is a play action by Gerard rolling right. He's looking. He's going to throw this one way out of the end zone. Looking at Howard Morrow, he was on that back line of the end zone. He just dumped that one off. Rod will move up under center. Got a deep eye back. That's Kristen Michael. Drops back, sets, throwing, going end zone. He has got, uh, that'll be Fuller. And Fuller caught it, but he rolls. He's out of bounds when he caught it, but they throw two flags. And I think it's going to be defensive pass it is. interference, but That's we'll wait Now, he just called it. This is a corner route to Fuller, and he made a one-handed grab. I thought he was inbound. No challenge on it. It's going to hold up. It's defensive pass interference. And we're on the ground, and Michael hit in the backfield. And he pushes his way uh, back across the line of scrimmage, maybe the two-yard line. 8.08 to go, 14 all in the uh, second quarter. And here is Gerard on a keeper trying to push his way in. That didn't work.